And a good afternoon, one and all. He's Keith Arizari. I'm Mark Malusis. We are Moose and Keith. Better Sports Network. Better cast tonight. The association is back. Hugh John Tesh and the great music they used to have on NBA. I mean, that's really what it gets me fired up. I was listening to that this morning because I'm happy that basketball is back. You love basketball. Your kids play basketball, Keith. We've talked about that on the program. And, you know, you got a good one tonight in the game of the night where the Denver Nuggets are going to raise that championship banner in Denver, something that was well-earned, something that really all the prognosticators wanted a year ago, pick everybody else but the Denver Nuggets as they were 10 to one to open up the West of uh, the playoffs last year, even though they were the number one seed in the Western conference, but Nicola always getting a shade, but it's LeBron and it's the Lakers in Denver tonight. What a game. Yeah. As I jokingly say, Hamal and Hamola Jokic. I know you like Hamal I do. Uh, much better. They're both good. Yeah. Teams on ring night in the last 10 years, nine and one straight up seven and three against the spread. So that's a, a nugget for all of you betting fans out there. Uh, and speaking of the Denver Nuggets, I think they're still loaded. I know they lost some players. They made a run during the postseason. I wonder, and I always wonder about this, the, the night coming back from an off season of winning a championship, but we've seen it hasn't affected the Vegas golden Knights yet. Uh, and I don't know if it's going to affect the Denver Nuggets. So I don't know who wins tonight's game, but I think it's going to be nice and competitive. I think we're going to see the stars shine. I think you're going to see Jokic and Murray play really well, and LeBron and Anthony Davis and all the hype throughout the offseason, and the new look, you know, LeBron-led Lakers with Gabe Vincent and Cam Reddish and Christian Wood and all these dudes. I think it's going to be a fun one tonight. I think it's going to be a good one. When you take a look at uh, just for informational purposes only, uh, or maybe a little bit more than that, uh, the Nuggets are five and a half point favorites at home tonight. If you like the Lakers on the money line, they're plus 180. Denver on the money line is minus 225. The total in the game is sitting at 228 and a half. But what we do here for the better cast is obviously – we got questions to fire out there. And if you haven't, uh, make sure to join the contest, answer pregame questions, and see all of our picks on demand. Download the free BetterCast app in the Apple app and the Google Play stores. So let's fire out some questions. Keith, you're a big LeBron fan. You have every jersey LeBron's ever worn other than the Lakers jersey. The total for him, when you look at individual points tonight, is sitting at 23 and a half. Are you going over or under? I have a question for everybody out there. So here, you mad, bro? LeBron James is still the king. He's entering year number 21 in the NBA. He is built like a Greek god. He is still a dude that can average 27, 28 points per game, give you seven rebounds, give you eight assists, play defense sometimes, uh, and be a great leader on a team. I'm all in on LeBron James. All right, let's go over the 23 and a half. He's going to fly by that. Probably about 26, 27 points tonight. Average 28.9 uh, last year. Has averaged 25.6 points per game in 20 career season openers. That is a really good number. And also, by the way, the last two opening nights, 31 and 34. All hell. <clears throat> the king. There you go. I, I can see that. Um, all right. I'm going to talk about Anthony Davis. You weren't as bit. excited about that. I'm sorry. No. Well, you, you and I, we've gone back and forth about <laughs> I LeBron. I, listen, I, I don't put anything against him. I, I think you're I think you're going to get some points. It, I mean, I think LeBron's going to be obviously fresh as a daisy. Uh, we'll see what it looks like at the end of the season. But, uh, yeah, I could see him going over that point total. I want to talk about AD, uh, Mr. Street Clothes, Eyebrow, Unibrow, whatever you want to call him. Uh, you know, barely ever plays. He's healthy. Uh, to start the season for the Los Angeles Lakers. LeBron James has mentioned that this is now, you know, his team kind of passing over the mantle, that it's got to be his team here moving forward. Three games a year ago, Anthony Davis against the Denver Nuggets averaged 11 boards a game. The total is sitting there at 12 and a half. He averaged 12 and a half boards a game a year ago during the course of the regular season, regardless of opponent. Um, I'm going to go over that total for Anthony Davis. I'm going to go on the idea that, you know, maybe, uh, you know, we're not going to get a prodigious offensive performance by either team, that they're not going to hit the ground running. Um, we've gone through the preseason kind of, uh, you know, wait uh, you know, wait and see. They're not going to be refined. I, I think Davis, to me, healthy, 12 and a half boards. I'll go over that total tonight for Anthony Davis. And, and I'll echo your sentiment because if we're going to see a lot of missed shots, I think Anthony Davis does have a little something to prove. If LeBron James is going to say, this should be your team. 
I could see Anthony Davis attacking the rim on both the offensive and the defensive side of things. The over 12 and a half rebounds, it's a large number, but I can see it happen. All right.